Alright, what up guys, I'm back. Um, I don't know why I'm not able to do live streams, like, fully, but... Um, if you guys don't know, I will be doing, um, live streams on YouTube of some of my art as well. I'll be doing some live stream painting on there as well. Um, it might not be tonight, but I do know somewhere in the near future I'll be doing some live abstract and flame style paintings in the very near future. You guys will be able to go on there and, you know, watch it and see just how the process works and how I do what I do. And see, and that's the beauty of doing art these days is you can literally do anything and it looks really cool. Like art is art. A lot of people say what I do is, you know, legit. And then when they see me take it to that next level and like literally convert what I've already done into something else, they they tend to look down on me about it. But that's the beauty of art. It's ever changing. And that's how I work. I'm always changing. I'm always evolving my style. And no two piece, no piece is ever the same as the last. So with that being said, let's jump into this. Start things off. I'm going to go in and upload that piece that you guys just saw me paint in the last part. Right there. Upload it. Boom. There she is. Now, let's see, what direction, as you guys don't know, I do have, I can't do from, I can do these two, I can't do the rest of these because I have to pay for these, but I make do with what I got. So, with this one, I'm thinking one of my personal favorite brushes, which is Bazille, definitely one of my personal favorite brushes to use on a lot of my work, and it just, it looks really cool. So let's see how this looks. We're going to do the entire thing first before we switch out to see how it looks. And I can already tell you it doesn't look that great, but we can change that. Yeah, that definitely looks weird. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna un. No, I didn't wanna undo. I wanted to read, or I didn't wanna read. I wanted to undo that. But, but since that does look a little weird, we're gonna take down the size a bit. We're gonna do Sicily, um, which is another favorite brush style of mine that I use a lot. If you guys don't know, this one is the brush that I use in like a lot of my landscapes, a lot of my skyscapes, you know, stuff like that. It really looks really good. Ooh, this one may be a little bit tougher to do. You know what? Let's do this. We're going to go back into Bazil, but this time we're going to do it like, if you guys don't know, I have another technique that I use, which is just going straight down. Oh, there we go. Just in a straight down motion, you know, just kind of dragging it down as I go across here. Because as you can see, you get that really cool drip effect, which I do like. I love the drip effect in a lot of my art, which is how I get like that really cool, like you guys notice in some of my pieces. Like, it looks like it's being pulled to the bottom, and that's why, because it's that drip effect. I'm literally just pulling the paint just downward. And it looks really cool.
Oh yeah, that looks good, man. Not yelling at anybody, but what is it with people and always, everybody always call me, like, or message me right when I'm in the middle of doing a piece. Like, not bitch or anything, but I, I find it funny because I did a YouTube video the other day. And one of my friends was actually messaging me as I was doing the video for some of my artwork. Like, it was, it was pretty funny. I'm like, really? Like, not that there's anything wrong with that. I just find it funny. Oh, dude, this is looking super cool right now. I actually like how this pull-down effect is looking on this. And as always, if you guys would like to check out more of my art, the link is in the description for you guys to go look at. You know what? I may just have to turn this into a part three with going because I may just add like a cool swirl effect. I don't know. Oh, that looks super cool. Not gonna lie, that looks dope. I'm glad I went for the pull down drip effect other than just going straight across and tiling it. I just did that straight up and down, just that cool ass pull effect. Like, dude, that looks super cool. I love how that turned out. But what I'm gonna do, guys, I'm gonna post a vote for you guys. So if you guys do want to leave it like this, vote for this. If you guys would like me to do a swirl effect, I'd like to kind of twist the painting on the inside and make it kind of swirl in, let me know. Um, I don't know what, what I'm going to do yet. I may do both. I may end up doing both styles of painting, but I want you guys to vote on which one you guys would like to see in the art gallery, whether it's this one, whether it's the one from, or the swirl effect one in the end. I don't know which one I'm going to do yet, but I may just add this to the abstract art gallery anyway, as it does look really good. I like how it turned out. But uh, anyways, guys, now you guys know the process of what I do. I lay down my baseline, my base paint, through that escape emotion site where I do my flame painting, I lay the base style down and there, and then I go into Psycho Paint. If you guys have not checked out Psycho Paint and do it, they're really good. I think it's what quick some of my coffee here. I'm drinking iced coffee as always. But, uh, if you guys have not checked out Psycho Paint, do it. They're very good for painting. Um, you do get the first two palettes of brushes for free. Um, the rest you do have to pay for. I think it's like four ninety nine. Yeah, see these two right here are free, but from here over, yeah, see it's four ninety nine to get all the brushes. Which I may end up doing. I may end up spending the money once I sell some of my work. I may end up spending the money to do that. To, you know, continue on with these different brushes so I can do even more styles. But uh, for now, we are going to save this. What? Oh, apparently, I don't have any. Psycho 
coins what oh wait yeah i did okay Oh, wait, then why is it? All right, so we'll just go with the small and then I can just resize it. I don't know why it's giving me trouble, but uh. Now, I am going to add it to my gallery on here as well. Alright, and there we go, guys. It is now also in my gallery, which probably won't be able to count because for some reason, Psycho Pain does not like to let my gallery load, but it's there. But uh, there you guys have it. That is the end of this. But uh, now you guys know exactly how I do my artwork. And what really goes into it? Like, it's definitely a lot of fun to do. Um, I definitely enjoy it. It's, it gives me a break away from, you know, my music for a while. As I said, I'm focusing strictly on my artwork for like the next couple months or so. So, you guys can expect some more really cool pieces like this. And again, guys, if you do want to buy my artwork or view the work in my gallery that I have up right now, you guys can click on the link above, go to my official website. <clears throat> Pardon me. You guys can go to my official website there. You guys can buy the stuff there. That's not a problem. But just to be funny, I do want to see something really quick. I want to see if it will allow me to go over to the escape flame painter just to be funny i want to see if it'll do it hey what do you know yes it will okay time um the next time i do a painting i will be doing a full scale from here all the way through now i know that i can do this full i won't have to worry about doing it the other way like how i did in two parts um that's actually good to know I'm going to, with that being said, guys, I hope you guys did enjoy seeing this live piece being done from scratch, from the ground up. Um, I know I enjoyed doing it for you guys. And with that being said, love you guys. Be sure to go to my site and check out my art. And if you know anybody that is willing to buy the art, let them know. Send them to the site. And I'll see you guys later.